Hey everybody, this is Jason with Lone Star Catfish. So, I'm out here. Uh, this is my first time back in the water since uh, Tropical Storm Imelda. Um, coming to one of my um, simple little spots here in the creek. It's not too far of a paddle and it is just completely changed. Um, extra trees are down. There's sandbars where they weren't before. The drop-off is no longer where it was. I've kind of had to hunt around here a little bit. Um, kind of pulling up the anchor and just drifting around and watching the depth finder to try to see where some of the drop-offs and contours um, have moved to. Um, you know, I've managed uh, a couple fish. Um, nothing too exciting. A, a decent little channel cat and a teeny tiny little bullhead. Um, so I didn't get skunked. So it's a good trip. Um, trying out a few new things. Got a couple new rods. Um, that I think will help me out here instead of using the spin cast or the uh, spinning rods and going with the uh, more the trolling, um, which gives me a little bit easier to the reel instead of the, the spin spinning rod hanging down underneath there. Um, both of them caught a fish, so at least I didn't buy uh, two Jinx rods. And um, other than that, it's been pretty quiet. Um, there's definitely still fish in here. I see them hitting the ground or hitting the water. Um, they're on the uh, they're on the finder here. They're down there. Um, I've got a couple other hits other than the fish I've caught, but it's been pretty slow. It's about 6:30. Um, sun's going to go down in about 45 minutes, um, and I really don't want to be out here past dark. There's not really a lot of places here to easily get your kayak out of the water, and I want to be able to see what I'm doing. Uh, and what might be around me. So uh, about sunset, I'll start packing everything up. I've got a very short, maybe quarter mile paddle back up to the point there. Um, I'll get out, load up, uh, and head home. So that's it. Hopefully uh, it's been a little bit boring. Hopefully it picks up here a little bit. Barely hooked. Not much to look at, but on you go. There's definitely some fish in here right now. Seeing a lot of activity on the fish finder here. Of course, there's also a lot of muck in here, so that's very muddy water. This water in here is so muddy, and it's got so much debris down there that there are times the fish finder or the depth finder here will actually think the depth is three and a half feet. You know, I'm actually setting it about nine foot of water. But sometimes it'll get so heavy going through there that it'll just say, oh no, now it's three foot. Um, so, but there are fish down there. Uh, in fact, I see quite a few coming across the finder right now, so and there we go. So, like I'm live jigging here. And they are, looks like they're just above my baits. Somewhere around a five foot range. I've got these set about six foot. So, we'll see. We might get some movement come back up here, right out here at twilight, and there we go. Something's taking a crack at this one over here. He's so little he can't bend my bend my rod down. This might be the same fish. Found him a free meal. Yeah, he can't even hardly get the hook set in his mouth. <laughs> of course I say that, I can't get it out now. There we go. Oh, well, how's that for a baby catfish, huh? Fish is fish, though. Good, I'm going to get through this bait. This is some old bait that I I would really like to go ahead and get through. I would hate to just dump it, but it is 
getting past its expiration date. I'm sitting at about nine feet, but it goes up quite a bit here. That's where I got that rod. And I can see now he's probably sitting on the bottom. So Let's see if I can't slide this anchor forward just a hair. Get that one to drop just off of the drop off. This one's sitting over here probably in 10 or 12 foot of water. There we go, I did it. As soon as I got it off the bottom. Yeah, these, are, these little guys, I can't even really get the get the hook set in their mouth. I don't can't tell if he's got that hung up or what. Get these things sitting on the bottom and all you're gonna do is catch turtles. That's why I like to suspend them quite a bit. I mean not like a foot. I mean I usually like to fish, you know, eight to ten foot of water, and then I'm usually only dropping to somewhere between five and seven feet. Um, you know, I've got these poles are seven foot. The other poles I was using were seven and a half, but I basically just let out enough line to where my bait is at the butt end of the rod and then I just drop it in the water and lay the rod in so you know my rod on the right here is eh, maybe 10 inches 12 inches off the water so that's that's seven foot minus that so it's you know six 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 and a half this one I think I let it out to about seven and a half feet but it's setting about two feet above the water and I can see it's still sitting on the bottom. I'm going to try to get myself back here just a little bit. I'm actually going to check this bait and make sure that I've actually got something on there. And I don't. I'm fishing with a bare hook, which ain't going to catch nothing. I thought that might be the case. He got a little hit earlier and I got distracted. Never checked on it. This guy over here sitting on the bottom still. I'm gonna have to do something about that. Yeah, I was wondering why this thing wasn't getting any bumps. I mean, it, plenty of fish down there. Should be getting, should be getting at least. Uh, hey there, how are you? This one over here, what's he doing? Well, I don't have any damn bait on that one. That's what I'm doing. I'm going to reel this one up just a touch. All right, well, like I said, I'm going to get through this bait. It's good. I certainly would like to catch fish with it, but just the fact that something's down there taking it makes me feel a little bit better. Unless it's those damn turtles, I swear. I. Fed these turtles so many shad. Alright, let's see. Reeled that up about a foot. Let's see how that does. That does look like it's setting up. So that, sh that should only be setting at about six foot. Seven foot rod. I don't even know that's two foot above. So maybe six and a half foot. This guy's probably in the same boat. So. See what we can do here. We got about 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes, and then I'm gonna be heading out of here. The sun looks to me like it's gone, but I think it technically has about 10 to 15 more minutes. Yeah, this guy's already, guy's already getting some fun over here. Whoa! Here we go. All right. All right, like I said, there's definitely some fish moving in here. I think he just pulled me back over some, some brush, so. Well, that's a bit of fish. I mean, I'm not going to break any records, but, you know, he's, he's 13 inches. could keep and eat that one if I wanted to.
There's something about where this rod is setting that they are liking. Yeah, these shad are so tiny I could probably put a whole one on there, but fish are also pretty small. So I still just go ahead and cut them in half. I feel like it makes them at least have to attack the hook if they want that shad. You get it too big and get up there and grab it with their lips and swim off with it and then you got nothing. Tell you what, this pool over here, it's a difference of 10 feet maybe. It's, this thing, every time I put it in the water, it's getting hit. This one's over here, it's got nothing going on. So, All right, we're going to call it next fish, last fish. Still seeing a little bit of activity down there. I'm only showing about seven feet. I kind of slid back. Let's see if we can we'll slide this anchor trolley back a little bit. See if that won't move me back up here onto this spot. There's something down there. Come on, boy. Come on. Just a steady stream of hard returns, right about four feet. Just got to just be a layer of crud. I'm sitting just underneath that. There we go. There we go. Come on, Maybe the last fish. Oh, that was a that was a bait taken bite right there. See if he comes back forward or if he's off chewing it up. Mm -mm -mm. There he's back. There we go. There we go. All right. Well, this is the hot pole today. much to him, but he's fun. Boy, his whiskers almost look like they've been snipped, you know? Okay, buddy. It is 7-12. Sun is probably officially setting about now. So I am going to go back. Oh, I still got some daylight. Put this thing on the truck. Go to the house. So, the plan is to get out this weekend, out on the main lake, see what kind of damage we've done out there, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to get on some big fish again. It's always fun up in this creek. I tend to always catch fish, but they ain't the biggest. But uh, another good day. See you soon.